Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is actually several tips in one. I want to show you what they have added to the smart canvas features in docs and sheets. Let's go. So here's a quick rundown of the updates that have been announced on the Google Workspace Updates blog. And smart canvas features generally are those insert features that we use the at symbol to access. And so those smart chips that I've been talking about for I don't know how long now, probably a year at least. And um, they've added some interesting features. However, not all of them are working across everything just yet. So I want to show you how this works. The first one we have is the ability to add a direct link to a Google map. And this one's been around. I've seen this one. It is available in both Docs and Sheets. So I'm going to hop over here to my Google Sheet and show you right here. Here is a, a link to the Great Wall of China. And so you can hover, you can see it, you can also open up maps directly from here. So that's super handy. Here's how you do it. You can type the at symbol and just begin typing the name of the place and it will search um, lots of different things, not just maps, but eventually it will show you the, the place that you're looking for. You can also just go to insert smart chips and select place and begin typing a search for those places. So great wall of China is right here. And then you insert that and you've got that chip right there. This next one doesn't look new, it's a date, right? Well, you can actually type different things now with your at symbol, you can say at tomorrow and get tomorrow's date automatically put in there. So you can do that with at today, at yesterday, at tomorrow, and even just at date. And um, you can do that inside sheets, Inside docs right now, it only does the current date, but I am suspecting these things that are not working in docs will soon be working in docs as well as sheets. I'm gonna hop back over to sheets and show you this one right here, which is a stock. So looking at the Google stock right here, just with a hover, and you can easily insert um, different types of financial chips inside sheets. So obviously you can go to insert smart chips and now go to finance and search for what you're looking for. So if we want to look at Apple, we can look at Apple and put that in there. But it, it supposedly will do um, entities, stocks, mutual funds, and currencies that you can put into those chips here. And then last but not least, this is actually the one I'm most excited about, and that is the stopwatch. So the stopwatch, and this is actually just a quick screenshot from the blog post, is going to insert a stopwatch that you can start and stop inside docs. I don't currently have access to this, although according to the release, I should by now, but I've checked all of my accounts and it still does not work. So what you need to do is to type at stopwatch and try it out. So see if you have access to it, and then you can insert this I love this. Teachers need <laughs> timers all the time, right? So how awesome would it be to use this when we're having students work on fluency, work on improving their confidence with reading, um, timing a script that maybe they're going to read for a project, all kinds of things. So this is just a like a sample a little practice read through. But I think these are some great features. As I have mentioned, there's a lot more coming from Google. In fact, I have some information that I can't release yet. I have been privileged with um, some non-disclosure information that I can't release just yet, but lots of great things coming to Google and Google for Education and Google AI. So stay tuned for that. If you like this tip, ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And if you haven't already, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all of our free resources there. Bye, y'all.